you need to watch that corner too much because we're gonna have Hey, what's up guys? My name is Daniel and this is footage from uh, the last day at SE Village and this is actually the mega game. If you guys aren't familiar with this game, it's the last day of the game at SE Village where they put all the players on a field uh, on two different fields and it's just super super epic so what we have here is we are the defending force and traditionally the mega game is going to be a smaller force defending against a much larger force so this first move that you guys see me doing here is I'm actually at the front line and people are trying to move and attack so uh, enjoy I'm from behind you, I'm from behind you. Copy, thank you. Just let me know before you move and I'll tuck out. So the initial group of guys you guys saw me with there, um, they all got shot. The peaking, the peaking, um, and that's why you guys saw me prone against this building. There are ricochets hitting me like crazy because I am literally the guy on the front line and guys are just running by me because they have no idea that I'm there. Uh, I had a plan that I was going to try to escape, but there was just way too much fire that I was at a point where I knew I just needed to last as long as possible and just delay them since this game was about time instead of just kills. That was the ref right there telling the attacking team to move up so I know more guys are coming. And they obviously figure out where I am and light me up to no end. Alright, so after I respawn, I join Brian. And uh, the building that I'm going to be shooting at right now, this is a building with those two windows right there.
the left flank that I mentioned before. And this was the side that all those guys you saw running across the field, that's where they're going. So this is now the left alley of the field. And seeing them all run across and not be able to take them all out, I knew there was a heavy push there. And so I try to reinforce that side and I slide into this cover, which I do love sliding. So those guys you see out there, that's actually their spawn point. So that's the reason why I'm not shooting at them. Um, so I don't want to spawn camp, but I also want to keep an eye and see where they're, uh, where they're coming from. If you guys notice, one of the things I do a lot on the field is go really low. I'll go completely prone or like you see me doing here, I'm actually sitting down. Uh, you saw those uh, cloth waving back and forth that was uh, blocking my sight. So instead of trying to get it out of the way, um, I go low, and also I feel that going super low like this is an advantage because everyone's looking for somebody standing or kneeling. If you're completely prone, uh, I, I find that people don't see you as quickly and can be that split second advantage. So I know the other thing right now is behind me and the building on my left I have friendlies, but that's going to change pretty quickly. Okay, so now I know they were behind me, and so that guy in the dark, but he was about 15 feet away. These guys didn't know that I was right next to this building, and these guys are actually behind me. Oh, hit, 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 you got me. Coming out, coming out, you got me, you're done. So after I revealed my position and shot a few of them, they found where I was at and took me out, but I was able to get those three to four kills, which really helped out. All right guys, so after that last death, uh, the clock wound down a few minutes after and we still had the last half of the field, so we were able to take the win. I hope you guys like this gameplay and commentary. It was actually a lot of fun. And uh, otherwise guys, my name is Daniel. This is GITV. Thanks for watching.